So this exam question is one of the tricks that examiners like to use. We've got to unpick the question carefully to know how to get the two marks in our answer. Because initially, it might look like we can only get one mark. Let's break it down. So the question says, state the number of ATP produced in glycolysis and describe how. So immediately, I recognize that we've got two command words here, state and describe. We know we're talking about glycolysis and we're talking about ATP. So let's do the first thing. How many ATP are produced in glycolysis? Well, we know that there are four ATP that are being produced, but two are required at the start of glycolysis. So we get a net production of two ATP. So a net production of two ATP per glucose. So how do I get my second mark? Well, it's going to come from describing what do we mean by net production. So two ATP are required to phosphorylate the glucose. But four ATP are produced in substrate level phosphorylation. And the substrate level phosphorylation occurs during the oxidation of the triose phosphate. All right, which part of respiration do you want me to break down next? Make sure you give me a follow so you don't miss it and don't miss any other key biology skills like this.